Welcome back folks. So I finally finished SPG-15 for the Object 260 personal mission. And this mission now is a doozy. It's very difficult compared to the pre-9.18, the pre-artillery nerf. So originally it was get the most XP out of both team and do the most damage and survive. That was pretty simple. It was a lot easier than the destroy two artilleries haven't been spotted yet by your teammates. That was annoying, that was SPG 11 or 12. But now the conditions are finish as the top XP earned and get 3500 damage, stun assists or de-tracking or immobilization assists. So this is pretty painful because enemies will remove the stun with mid packs and mid packs are reusable after 90 seconds. So as you can see right there, the object went 40 Remove the 20 second stun, so no sweet assist damage from the stun effect. And the module damage has been nerfed for all high explosive shell for artilleries now. So it's a lot harder to detract after you shoot at your opponents. So getting this sweet assist damage is pretty painful. So what I learned is that in order to get the most out of this stun assist, damage counter thing is you have to shoot at large enemy targets like mouses or type 5s and get the most out of your camping tank destroyers but it's all coordinated effect in random pub match where there's no coordination so you have to shoot at close range or danger close enemies to your teammates in order to get the stun effect but you cannot shoot directly onto the enemy themselves because you'll take away the health needed for the stun. Your own damage does not count. So basically the conflicting of terms and conditions for the primary objective to get the most XP and the secondary condition to get the most stun assists is super annoying. So you cannot shoot at your enemies directly to take off their health and you have to get the most of the stun effect. <laughs> so what this means is you have to shoot at the ground next to your enemies for the most duration of the stun effect or use a low caliber gun like the stock gun to get the most frequency of the rate of fire. So this mission is super annoying and you have to have your teammates play a little bit more passively like camping in the back. You have to have your teammates suck to die in the first few minutes of the game supposedly the medium tanks and uh, light tanks ugh. it's a once in a blue moon condition and ugh, super annoying so yeah you have to shoot at your enemies you cannot hit them directly to take off their health you have to have your teammates shoot at your enemies with the stun effect so there's a lot of conditions for this mission and holy crap, I can't believe I finished it. I thought it was impossible, but uh, I wasn't focusing on the personal mission. I thought it was impossible, so I just take off health, deal the most damage. And what I learned in the new artillery meta is that you don't get that much XP by stunning and getting assist damage from the stun. You still get the most damage and XP from getting the most damage. So it's still coordinated by damage dealt, not by the stun effect. So basically, in order to get the most XP, you have to deal the most direct hits. But if you deal the most direct hits, there won't be any HP left for your teammates to deal the assist damage or detracting damage. So, <laughs> what? So as you can see, I tried to shoot at targets close to my teammates, camping in the back. That was a good hit on the Type 4 Heavy. So as you can see, so many delicious assist damage from the stun. So you need to have your teammates shoot at enemies with the stun effect. So basically, you have to work with your teammate or you have to guess what your teammates are going to shoot at. So that's the new meta for artillery now it's danger close it's not shooting low armor targets like Waffentragers or other artillery it's just shoot danger close targets so your teammates could have a shot 
our enemies with a stun effect. I hate this thing. <laughs> it's not as fun as nuking a target for like 2,000 health. That's amazing, but that's still a skill. That's patience. You have to aim. You have to know where you're aiming at and time the shot. So now it's mostly danger close. And that's pretty much it. So I've been rambling on, but as you can see, I tried to find targets. I tried to shoot at their proximity to deal the most damage, but eh. So you have to depend on your teammates to suck, but not as hard. So basically they play passively, play camping in the back and give you time to reload and apply the stun or detract. But they have to follow up. If they don't follow up, then there's no stun assists. So you need to have a terrible teammate, but he doesn't suck that hard camping in the back. You also need to have terrible enemies that suck pretty hard, but not that cowardly. So they will be caught out, but not all the time. So if you catch a mouse in the open and if you stun him, if you have your teammates shoot at him, you get all the assist damage. But that doesn't happen all the time. Rarely that happens. Like 20% of the time, 10%. So <sighs> this freaking condition, super annoying. So take your time. It's a little bit better in 9.19.1 because they're going to buff the XP earned as well as credits earned from the stun assist damage. So it's a little bit better for getting to the top XP on your team's chart, but you still have to do 3,500 damage in assist. <sighs> uh, well, would you rather do this mission or do destroy two enemy artilleries that haven't been spotted? So you have to counter battery two enemy artilleries by yourself while your teammates are getting slaughtered. I prefer the new mission, which is destroy two enemy artillery or something, but that hasn't been spotted. That's the primary kicker for that mission. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You could use a low caliber gun, like the stock gun of all artilleries. So basically the 170 on the GW Tigers and GW, well, GW E100 doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't have the 170. You have to use the... 152 for the Russians, not the 200 and something other, 203, but ew, it's rough for the rate of fire. So you want to apply the stun more frequently. You want to not really shoot the enemy, shoot to the side of them to apply the stun, but don't take away that much health. You want to shoot danger close to your teammates so they can shoot at the enemies. And you want to shoot at large targets that have been caught out, like heavy tanks but usually they're sticking close to buildings or rocks or city maps so you don't have a shot <laughs> and finally it's all conditions like every conditions align all the planets align and you have the perfect condition to get all the assist damage that does not happen usually so this is basically RNG fest unless you have a very well coordinated team this is a RNG fest, so uh, don't put too much into it. So it's it's not a well designed mission. <laughs> it's it's a little bit better if your damage is also counted, but it's not. So in order to get the most XP, you still have to deal damage, but you cannot deal that much damage. Otherwise, your enemies don't have that much health left for the stun assist. So oh God conflicting terms and conditions I hate this mission I really do also you need to have your teammates and the enemy play a little bit more passively so a little bit more passive meta and sucky meta too so you cannot have that many unicums rushing good to good spots and taking good shots and taking all the health away without you applying the stun so unless there's a heavy tank on track or top of the tree that's for the EU event or for something like the STRV 103 on track event where there's a lot of STRV 103s and a lot of heavy tanks 
that's a slower meta for you to apply the stun assist. But that doesn't usually happen, so... <sighs> Alright, I rambled on too much about this mission. As you can see, I was basically trying to support my teammates, shooting at what their could be spotted range, so their approximately range. So right now, I'm trying to counter battery if I can. I wasn't focused on assist. I was ma mainly focused on carrying the team if I can, so helping them out. But this match. So basically, as you saw with the first two minutes, our two platoons of medium tanks and light tanks got wiped out. So that's the sucky part. But for the enemy, they have an AFK 113. <laughs> so they need to suck, your teammates need to suck, everybody needs to camp their ass off, and therefore gives you a lot of time to apply the stun. So it's not the meta. This mission is not for the current meta. The current meta is aggressive, super aggro. So everybody plays medium tanks, light tanks, or fast vehicles, fast heavies, or a lot of heavies with armor in corridor maps. So not the meta for artillery players. So this mission is terrible. But right now I'm trying to help out. I'm trying to protect this FE-25B. He's getting shot at by the STRV-103B. So I'm trying to guess where this Swedish tank destroyer is. So it's most likely somewhere there, but here is the AFK-113, so I need to get the stun assist, I need to get the shot properly, but... Also, you cannot shoot at targets already stunned by your other artillery teammates. You don't get as much assist damage because you're overlapping their stun. So as you can see right there, that was a 700 damage shot, only get 200 assist damage. So there are so many terms and conditions. It's super annoying. <laughs> also, you don't have that many shells. I'm running out of shells, I only have three rounds left. Two are gold artillery shells <laughs> with better explosion radius. And that's basically it. Uh, this mission, so here is the camper. So he's on a hill. Oh, random RNG shot. That was good. That was pretty good. I detract him as well. So I apply the stun. I detract and... Yeah, he got spotted. Thank you, E4. That was the winning stun effect. Assist. Ugh. So... You need to have good teammates, but they need to be slower than the usual meta or not good teammates, but you have to have a good stun effect long enough for them to shoot at. So uh, there are so many RNG factors in this mission. Now I think about shooting their artillery for a little bit more stun, but I cannot shoot him directly. Otherwise, he will be dead. <laughs> he doesn't have that much health. So trying to shoot the bat chat artillery. But where the hell is he? No idea. So it's the 155-58. He's probably right here but I cannot shoot him directly so I just normally just shoot and with the uh, high explosion radius thankfully he got stunned so oh god this mission it's been a year since I finally finished a number 15 mission for a personal mission oh Christ and there you go folks SPG 15 for the object 260 personal mission so in the new meta, after 9.18 nerf to all the artilleries, this mission is a lot harder than the previous, get the most XP earned, while doing the most damage. So now, the two conditions in the primary condition, the two terms, are conflicting with each other. So the first one is get the most XP earned, but on the second term, it's get the most stun damage, 3500 damage in terms of stun or immobilization. So basically, if you hit your targets, you will chunk away a little bit more health than you get from the stun. But if you don't do that, you don't get that much XP. So it's conflicting with each other, but this mission is a doozy. It's a little bit simpler than, or a little bit easier than shooting two enemy artilleries that have not been spotted. So that was a whole crap fest. That got removed after 9.18. So that was SPG number 11 or 12, but... Uh, this mission is still 
not fun. So there's a whole new list of terms and conditions that need to be assorted and need to fit all the pieces correctly before you have a successful SPG number 15. So let's go through the list. So basically, the first one is you have to fire danger close to your teammates and pray for a well-coordinated attack. Otherwise, you shoot at enemies that have been stunned, but they run away. And basically, you get no stun assist. So, oops. But you need to have camping teammates shooting at well-coordinated targets, like enemies that got caught out. So like the Type 4 or a mouse in an open field map. And you need to apply the stun before they all shoot at it. Like the 113. The AFK 113 got shot at. But it was after I shoot at him. It was after the FV 3805 already shot at him. So then I don't get that much XP. Because he's already been shot at with the stun. I just overlap. My teammates artillery stun. So you need to be there first. And apply the stun. So RNG fest. Second. You need to have your teammates and the enemy suck or AFK. So as you saw with the medium tank platoon or with the AFK 113, they were missing out. So less damage taken away, giving you more time to shoot at enemies and apply the stun. So what this means is you need to have a slower meta. So everybody camps or passive and therefore you have more time to reload your gun and apply the stun effect. Also, you need to have an open field map. So basically, no city maps like Himmelsdorf or Ruinberg. So that sucks. Also, you need to land your shot close to your enemies, but not directly on them for the stun HP pool. So you have a little bit more HP on your enemies to take away from. If you chunk your enemy's health with your artillery shell, there will be less health for your teammates to shoot at, right? But if you do not shoot directly onto your enemies, you don't get that much XP. So XP is still earned a little bit more from damage than from stun assist. I tried it. So I'll show you guys the screenshot coming right up. But as I said, <laughs> XP and stun are conflicting with each other. So uh, it's rough. So you would try a... I would recommend you trying a smaller caliber gun, like the stock gun of tier 8 or tier 9 vehicles, because they have a higher rate of fire, but less damage to apply the stun effect, like the 170 on the GW Tigers, or the 155 for the Americans, and for the French, or the... what does the British use? The 3.5 inch, I don't play British artillery, so I cannot tell you that, but try to use the stock gun, not the top gun of all these artilleries who are a higher rate of fire, but play a high tier artillery, like a tier 8 or tier 9, but not tier 10, because tier 10s shooting at tier 10s don't get as much XP as tier 8 or tier 9 shooting at tier 10, so... You want to have a high tier artillery, but not tier 10. And it's a little bit better in patch 9.19.1 because there's a buff of an extra 20% to XP earned and credit earned from stun assist. So it's a little bit better for artillery players to get a little bit more XP by stunning, but it's still 3,500 damage assisted from stun or immobilization. So, yeah, basically, all the conditions align, all the planets align, and once you're in a blue moon, you can, fin <laughs> you can finish this stupid mission. Holy crap. RNG Storm. It's so many factors. Holy crap. But as you can see right here, I finally, finally did it. <sighs> From the Type 4, mostly. So, 1,615. Assist damage from the stun, so that was well coordinated from the 2S tank and the FE25B. But holy crap. And the other one from the S tank can be on the hill or on the plateau and he got shot by the E4. So you need to have good teammates, but they need to be passive 
shooting after you stun. Uh, okay, so as you can see, basically the top tier mediums and light tanks crapped out. You also have AFK enemies like the 113 or bad performing Fosh 155 from that match. So everybody plays slowly and you'll be the one applying the stun effect. So you'll be the only one shining. And that's basically one player out of 29 that performs well. So that's super rare. <laughs> really rare. But yeah, just barely finish the assist damage. Barely. I don't need to do that much damage. Damage is not a requirement, but in order to get the most XP, you need to deal the most damage as well, as much as you possibly can. So you need to have a high HP pool for the enemies as well as your teammates to survive long enough. But they need to be passive and camp in the back, applying a slower burn to the, your rate of fire so you have more time to dish out more shells. But you need to land your shells because it's limited. Wonderful. So I tried the stun route. So here is a match I did a few weeks ago, but I tried to shoot at the ground, not at enemy targets to apply more stun assists. So here you can see against tier 10 as well, but I only dealt 2,100 damage. So not as much as the 3,700, but I was outbeaten by a defender because he's a tier 8 shooting at tier 10s with godly hull armor and a decent gun. So, <laughs> and the a action X centurion. But I dealt 5,247 assist damage. That was way more than the requirement of 3,500. But assisted damage does not count as much in terms of XP earned currently. But in 9.19.1, it received a 20% boost. Should, should be a little bit better, but still, if you have a good performing teammate in a tier 8, oops, you don't get that much XP and therefore no mission completion for you. So, <laughs> damn it. Everybody needs to suck so I can finish this mission and play passively. But there you go, folks. The whole list showing up right now of all the terms and conditions applying to this mission to be successful. So, it's not fun. It's not fun. But here is my collection of all my vehicles and the battles played. So basically, I'm a scumbag to the core. So now, I'm scumbag king in the worst meta for artillery players. So that's nice. <laughs> I played 1,253 battles in the GW Panther and 905 in the GW Panther. <laughs> I'm catching up in uh, the GW Tiger right here with uh, 337. So this is the tier 8. This is the tier 9. So I'm catching up. So basically, the most battle play is in artillery. I'm sorry, but... Originally, I started playing World of Tanks with artillery because my computer don't run as well. When you see through bushes, it lags me. So the only way to counter this is a up to down view with artillery. So I don't lag as much. But now, better computer. So I got used to the game, but <laughs> scum back to the core. So there you go, folks. I rambled on a lot about this mission. I tried to analyze it, but... It's an RNG storm, so all the pieces need to be combined and aligned correctly, all the planets, all the voodoo witchcraft, but it sucks. It really does suck, but it's been a year since I finished Heavy Tank 15 and Tank Destroyer 15, so did not do that much progress, but A, progress is progress, even though it's slow. So now I have to finish... Medium tank 15. <sighs> With the new matchmaker, that's that's impossible. Or light tank 15. So I'll wait for the light tank personal mission buff in 9.19.1. But I'll probably finish light tank 15 and get the object 260. After two years and two and a half years. 
The Object 260 is currently being power crept by engine buffing of the IS-7 or the WZ-1115A, so... Awesome! But, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys take some of the tips into getting this mission done, but it's easier for the T-55A or the T-28 concept or the Stuk-4, obviously, but for the Object 260, holy crap, it's annoying. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.